Hey guys, it's Matt and welcome back to the channel. So we are doing a perfect freestyle build and last time we were looking at frame option A from Catalyst Machine Works the Bangot 5 inch. This time we are looking at Chris Rosa's AOS 5.5 inch frame. It's a brand new design frame with a little bit bigger discs so that disc load of the rotors are reduced. So how that can be beneficial and how the frame is coming together, we will take a look right after the intro. Let's roll it! Today we are taking a look at option frame B and for that I chose the AOS frame from Chris Rossa in 5.5 inch. This frame is coming in different sizes and all are very well analyzed for vibrations and resonance so that the performance getting out of a quadcopter frame is basically one of the best or maybe the best you can buy right now on the market. Besides the great borderline OCD analysis of Chris Rossa which went into this frame, a bigger disc is what is shown to be beneficial if it comes to higher payloads. Over the last years, GoPros we want to carry with those freestyle quads are increasing in weight. There's another upside here. A 5.5 inch uh, freestyle quad could also function much better as a long range cruiser or getting us to points in mountain ranges for mountain diving much better because we could carry bigger batteries and we have a bit more safety on board by having more fly time and not the need to return to home base as quick as uh, we might have to do that with a 5 inch quad. Besides all this which went into this frame in terms of design, the quality of the carbon chosen really surprised me. When I opened the package I had to look twice. The cutting, the edges, how smooth they are and the actual carbon weave of the plates where the uh, frame is cut out of are really super high quality. I never had such a great quality frame in my hands in the last months. And for me, at least, it is the best I've ever seen. So for that, we will assemble it now and then we will take a look after it's assembled what the frame impressions are between the Bangor from Catalyst Machine Works and the AOS and then we will make our final choice what we are going for for this perfect freestyle build. Enjoy the assembly! At this point of the assembly the frame of the AOS is really coming very well together. The hardware is great and there are no complaints here. 
the standoffs are really super high quality as well as the screws and all the other parts. However, the hardware and the quality used in the screws of the Bangot from Catalyst Machine Works is slightly better because they're using 170,000 PSI screws in areas of high load and that gives a little bit more rigidity and stability of the frame and makes it more rigid. But where the Catalyst Machine Works Bangot has slightly improved hardware, the AOS frame is slightly better analyzed and comes better together with the entire carbon structure and has an edge there. Therefore improved hardware for the AOS is actually even not really needed. And looking at both frames, they're both really great frames and it's really hard to pick between them. The camera is also very well protected by carbon fiber in the AOS. Same what I already really liked in the Catalyst Machine Works design where the camera is also protected by a carbon fiber cage. So there is not a big difference between both frames there. And I really like that the TPU parts are reduced to a minimum in both frames. So here we have the frame assembled and it comes really well together. There's a lot of space inside in the back for the air unit or Cadex Vista, whatever you wish to choose. And the deck on top provides enough space for any kind of battery cameras you want to throw on there. So that's really great. let's compare the weight between both frames. The AOS as a 5.5 inch frame comes in at 127 grams. And the Catalyst Machine Works Bangot comes in at 135 grams with some TPU parts on the arms already installed. Considering that the AOS is a 5.5 inch frame and the Bangot a 5 inch one, the AOS can carry more payload and is therefore with the performance to weight ratio clearly winning over the Bangot. It is possible to argue back and forward between both frames all day long and there will be no clear winner here. So I decided to build out both actually. Right now however, for this freestyle build, I'm going with the AOS frame. I want to get more experience what the 5.5 inch build actually can really produce. A great flight controller and really great motors are already ordered and they're on the way. They will arrive soon that we can continue this build. Like and subscribe to the channel, that would be really appreciated. And as always guys, thanks for watching, stay safe, have a great rest of the day and see you in the next one.